Hey everybody, Dead Voice McGee, or rather Sick Voice McGee, I am. Um, with just the transition with weather, my throat got really bad, so wasn't able to think of anything, so I compiled all the incorrect series quotes together. Special thank you to all of the sites that have helped me make these. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the madness. I have a science headcanon! Can you just say you have a hypothesis like a normal person? So my science headcanon is... Wanna see how badass I am? Could someone take me to the hospital? Swear words are illegal now. If you say one, you'll be fined. Heck, you're on thin fucking ice. Oh no. May, I'm home! Hi, home. I'm disappointed. Hey, Peter, what's up? I'm sitting in a pool of blood. Is it your blood? Yeah, I think so. Do you know where it's coming from? Probably the stab wound? You've been stabbed? Oh, yeah, definitely. Chillax! That's not a word. Sometimes the ones who deny chillax are the ones who need to chillax the most. Narrator voice. New York, Queens. It's a rough burrow, but hey, it's home. You're not supposed to say narrator voice, Peter. Guess what number I'm thinking of. 420? No, that's really immature of you. Someone else guess and please take this seriously. Is it 69? Yeah, it was 69. I don't get why we need driver's training. Driving is just like Mario Kart, except slower, and you can't throw blue shells at people. All right, so you're never driving. Are you inside my ceiling, Peter? Um, no. Did it hurt when you fell? From heaven? No, I'm not. No, I mean when you fell down the stairs. I watched you fall and just kind of lay there on the floor for about 10 minutes. <clears throat> we both saw that. How many people do you have to kill for it to be illegal? One. One person. Are you sure? Text me when you're on your way. Potassium. God, you're such a nerd. PETA, what issues do you believe this country is most divided on? Um, whether milk goes first or cereal goes first? Syrup versus syrup? Whether you wet your toothbrush before the toothpaste goes on or after? Toilet paper over or under? <sighs> Political issues, PETA. How do Barton and Romanoff usually get out of these messes? They don't. They just make a bigger mess that cancels the first one out. Every talk I have with you people gets more and more absurd. You say you people like you're not part of the group. Well, I got news for you, point break. You're already on the Christmas card. Now, before I tell you my idea, are you allergic to dolphins? Are you calling me a liar? I ain't calling you a truther. Why are you late? A technical error occurred, causing an unexpectedly long bout of unconsciousness. Overslept? Overslept. I'm confused about the nature of your relationship. Is he your ward? <laughs> no! He's my son. 30 day free trial of being okay. OP, where's the link? Where's the link, OP? Oh look, I survived! Brilliant! Love it when I do that! I think the Mystery Skulls have evolved as a group consciousness, so that no individual truly knows what they're doing. Woo Especially that one. They're here! You think it's a trap? Definitely. You want to go spring it? Oh, absolutely. Strange light in my kitchen, so... Either getting murdered or abducted. We'll keep you updated. What if it's Mothman? Well, then it's marriage. Dude, Arthur got kidnapped! Again? How much do they want for him? $85. That seems cheap. It's a good deal. Do we have to pay for shipping? Oh, $20 shipping. See, that's where they get you. Will one of you just come save me, please? I underestimated you. Yeah, well, maybe next time you will estimate me. Oh, come on. What's the harm in just taking a look around? With this group? Clearly, you haven't been paying attention. <laughs> the mystery skulls are competent. <sighs> Vivi, I tried to make pasta in the coffee pot, and I broke everything! God fucking damn it, Arthur. Why don't you stay down and die with dignity? We don't do anything with dignity! Uh, Vivi, you wanna try that one again? I know what I said! I'm going over to help. Stay here and just don't touch anything. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna touch everything. How tall are you? Height is a social construct. So, you're short. What the fuck's wrong with short people, man? Yeah. Got a problem with short people? I do not believe in weeds. 
A weed assembly of flower. That someone decides is in the wrong place. You should style your hair. I think a nice undercut will give that don't fuck with me vibe, you know? I mostly use my face for that. Oh yeah, you clearly do that. Why do I mysteriously feel like crap and keep wasting time doing nothing? You have depression. No, that can't be it. It has to be something I did. Arthur is my enemy. But it turns out that Arthur is also his own worst enemy. And the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So Arthur is actually my friend. But because he is his own worst enemy, the enemy of my friend is my enemy. So actually, Arthur is my enemy. But! Do you guys know where I could get one of those gold necklaces with T on them? That's a cross. A cross from where? Did you just refer to a knife as a people opener? Sh should I not have? Don't break people's hearts. They only have one. Break their bones, they have plenty of those. What if Cinderella was a baking slave instead of a cleaning slave and her name was Mozzarella? Don't ever text me again. I hope you have a good explanation for this. We have three, actually. Pick your favorite. What's wrong with Wade? He couldn't handle alcohol very well. I'm gonna steal the Declaration of Independence! I love saying fuck me because it can either be sexual or self-loathing, and those are two things that describe me perfectly. Who the fuck- Language? <clears throat> Whom the fuck? I came out to have a good time, and honestly, I'm feeling so attacked right now. I came out to attack people, and I'm honestly having such a good time right now. <sighs> Come on, Peter, I wasn't that drunk. You tried to color my face with a highlighter because you said I was important. That's because you are. <laughs> Goodbyes are so awkward, like, do I go in for a kiss or what? Please just take your food, sir. Alright, listen up, you little shits. Not you, Lucio. You're an angel and we're thrilled you're here. You're smiling. Did something good happen? Can't I just smile because I feel like it? Ganji tripped and fell in the parking lot. I don't understand why humans like sleeping so much. It's a free trial of death. Sorry I'm late. What happened? Nothing. I just didn't really want to come. I'm getting married tomorrow. What? And more specifically, to what? At least somebody loves me, you bitter anime character. I'm playing a new drinking game. It's called Every Time I'm Depressed, I Take a Drink. Congratulations on your first Overwatch mission, Alan! The kid's underage. Ah, right! You're a growing girl. Reinhardt, no! Reinhardt, grab all the small ones first! Their tiny legs are useless! Okay, fine, let's all act like humans. Look at me! Boy, do I love sweating! Let's convert beef and leaves into energy and excrete them later and go shopping! This is a mass text! Does anybody know where I am? Name a way to be nice to people. Don't kill them. Setting the bar really low, but I'll allow it. The indigenous species of Wild Rito can be real aggressive. So it's important to take all necessary precautions when approaching them. GET FUCKED! I'm sorry, but it's just so hot in here. I know, but please stop unbuttoning my shirt. But who can I trust? Yourself? <laughs> no. I like all the other champions. Urbosa, Mifa, Daruk, and Lake. Your family is dead. What? April Fool's Day is actually tomorrow. You're an orphan. Are you collecting donations for the Rito Village Ball? We don't have balls. I have no response to that. I realize that what I really should do is fight fire with fire. And by fire, I mean Link. And by fire, I also mean Link. It occurred to me when I was at the fire temple, on fire. Is there anything better than put me? Yes, a really good book. If I had a nickel for every time I wanted to fuck a fish, I would have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. How did you find me here? Well, easy. I just listened for the sound of complete and utter portrayal and followed that. I have no use for people. I find them weird and confusing. My friend saw a Ningo take a shirt off and said a Ningo had an eight pack. That a Ningo was shredded. How many people have to die before you start having fun exactly? Who's dead besides everyone I ever loved? My ignorance is becoming a theme. I'm sorry, but you must be at least a level 3 friend to unlock my tragic backstory. Fire is my only weakness. Yeah, fire is everyone's weakness. It's fucking fire. I wasn't listening, but I strongly disagree with Ines. 
Okay, does everyone know what they're doing? In general, or the plan? The plan, Krom. Oh, phew. Good God, my descendants are going to be fucked! Like Hector always says, when one door closes, choose a nearby wall and bash it in with brute force! Oh ho ho ho! Summon it, summon it, summon it, summon it, summon it, summon it, summon it! You know, if I were to die right now in some fiery explosion due to the carelessness of a friend, well, that would just be okay. Getting murdered in the woods wouldn't even be my least favorite thing about camping. <laughs> I'm in danger. That moment when you enter a room and you forget why you went in here. Oh, that's right. I was being chased by a serial killer. When I say I can handle traps, I'm thinking of tripwires and poison darts and such. Not leave an angry snake in a box. That's it. You're all grounded. Vivi, no monster hunting for you. Arthur, no mechanics for you. And Lewis, oh God, is there anything you love? Revenge? No vengeance for you. I was gonna say I'll get you for this, but I guess that's off the table. For the last time, we are not sending you to space so you can, and I quote, chase that sweet, sweet alien ass. Imagine life, but not bad. Unrealistic, blocked. Okay, no offense, but some of us need to fucking chill. And anyway, that's the second time I almost died in Kentucky. I had an irrational fear of doors until fourth grade too. So I guess this isn't bad compared to doors. A guy walked up to me and asked if you were my friend. He shook his head and said, I'm so sorry when I said yes. What the fuck did you do? To quote the icon that is John Mulaney, I have had a long day, I'm very small, and I have no money. So you can imagine the kind of stress I am under. What happened? Why'd you get pulled over? I was trying to keep up with traffic. It was late at night, there was no traffic. That's how far behind I was. <sighs> Sometimes it's important to take a moment and kink shame yourself. Okay, is the equipment secure? Check. Weapon loaded. Check. Did you have breakfast? What? That's not on the checklist. I added it because I care about you. No, I didn't have breakfast. Unacceptable. Look in your pocket. Hey, there's little chocolate chips in this. Yeah, I'm not an idiot. I know how to trick you into eating your fiber. Mr. Stark, can we hang out? If by hanging out you mean go save the universe from a powerful Barney the Dinosaur, then yes. I was thinking more like laser tag. Where's my fucking knife? Dude, there are kids around. Say it nicer, maybe? <clears throat> May I ascertain the whereabouts of my fucking knife? I have a job for you. Give me a name and I'll give you a corpse. Wait, we talked about this. Hi. This is my son. I will love and protect him. And if any of you touch him, I will not hesitate to kill you. Look, let's just agree to say I'm sorry on the count of three. One, two, three. See, now I'm just disappointed in the both of us. Hey, I bought your soul last month and... No returns. Please, it's making me sad. Don't do anything stupid. You and I both know that's asking way too much of me. And how exactly will you stop me? I'll call May. God damn it. You shall all die. Hey, uh, yeah, I don't think my dad will let me die. Uh, let me ask first, though. Uh, Thanos says... No. Sorry, my dad says no. I do what I want. I'm calling mother. No, wait. Peter? That toy is for ages five and up. Yeah, I'm part of the up. What kind of tea is this? Oh, I boiled some Gatorade. I never doubted you for a second, Peter. Hey, thanks, Mr. Stark. You're lying though, right? Yes, I doubted you very strongly. I'm one of you now. Prettier and different and better, but one of you. Guess what? I have flaws. What are they? Oh, I don't know. I sing in the shower. Sometimes I spend too much time volunteering. Occasionally, I'll commit first-degree murder. That's all you've got? A cheap trick up your sleeve and a cheesy one-liner? Sweetheart, that could be the name of my autobiography. <laughs> Mr. Stark, I don't feel so... Gucci. <clears throat> I hate it when people ask what's the stupidest thing you've ever done. Like, awfully bold of you to assume I've reached peak dumbass. Me and Maxi share a special type of chemistry. We finish each other's... Sharpedo. Please don't interrupt me. 911, what's your emergency? What do you mean you're being murdered? That's illegal, people can't do that! We're sorry. Team Rocket wasn't sorry. 
I'm eating at a Japanese steakhouse, and there was a calamari tentacle in my soup. So, naturally, my dumbass says out loud, I didn't order extra hentai. Anyway, I can never go back there. You're like a son to me. Dad, I am your son. I lost my gal pal and Dave made! What do they look like? <laughs> Beautiful! I'm having fruit salad for dinner. Actually, it's mostly grapes. All grapes, really. Fermented grapes. Wine. I'm... I'm having wine for dinner. I want to look like a snack this summer, but I keep fucking eating them. Come to the dark side. We have chocolate! Okay, is damn it, Gary. I don't need friends. I've got knives! Ha! I'm out of knives. I just crashed my horse. Fuck! I'm too young to die, and I'm too old to eat off the kids' menu. What a stupid age I am. Introducing the Grusinator! <laughs> we have fun, don't we, Link? I've never been more stressed out in my entire life. Do you see that thing down there?! With great power comes great need to take a nap. Wake me up later. Link, you must take the Master Sword. No! Blades are for skating! Ya dingus. It's kinda sticky here. Yeah, <laughs> sticky. I'm gonna replace every bone in my body with a knife. If someone punches me, they're in for a surprise. The knife. I have no idea what's about to happen, but it has been a great pleasure to walk beside each and every one of you. Screw you. I want my final words with you to be indignant and irritated. Come on, sucker! Lick my battery! A wolf? He's supposed to be dead! Yeah, weird. Physically, yes, I could fight a bird. But emotionally, <laughs> imagine the toll! Except for Valley, I'll fucking stomp him. So, you finally arrived. What the hell is that? It's my ass kicking outfit, bitch! I put it down on the grill! You've got to learn how to pick it up too, Link. The hero of time has been dead for 100 slutty, slutty years. I'll go to hell! I already exist on a level of hell. Then exist on one that isn't near mine! Let me see what you have! A knife! No! Don't do anything I would do. And definitely don't do anything I wouldn't do. There is a little grey window in there for you to operate. The fact that tens of thousands of Hoylians refuse to send me their rupees is sickening. Grow up! Your face looks familiar. Have I threatened you before? I never considered you a rival. I never considered you at all. Now that's just hurtful. No matter how insecure or shitty you feel, just remember that my muscles are massive and I can punch through walls. Thanks, Daruk. So yeah, I just killed a guy. Totally on purpose this time. I'll just keep on going and try not to think about it. <laughs> oh my god. While you were busy being heterosexual, I studied the blade. This ain't no etch -a sketch This is one doodle that can't be undid, home skillet. <sighs> Help me. I can't breathe. Your ego is pushing all the air out of the room. Do you always have to insult the ghost of the place we're at? And you're willing to risk your lives for this? I won't risk my life, but I assume I can outrun anything, so I'm in. I'm three out of the bloodbass! <sighs> oh my goddess, when someone says hold your horses, they're telling you to be stable. Hello? Can you let me in? I tried blowing up your door, but it didn't work. The real secret to immortality? Not dying. You want to be immortal? Okay, easy. Just don't die. That's it. Refuse to die. There you go. But how, you may ask? Easy. Just don't do it. Refuse to. Say, oh, oh, no thanks. You bet your ass I got this strong from screaming at the moon and eating dirt. I'd sell you to Satan for one corn chip. I'm the Hylian Champion, a humble protector of the princess. And who are you supposed to be? I'm the hero of time. Let's see. Well, to put it as simply as possible, I'm sort of a time god now, I think. Sick.